wondered when I was going to see you again. What brings you to Port Charles, Mr. Renault? Oh, please, call me Cyrus. The way you used to. And what should I call you? Commissioner of Police. <laughs> Commissioner, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yeah, well, no time like the present. In your case, the past is more interesting. I, I look at you and I see the brilliant, certainly passionate woman who was my right hand. I remember those days. Do they haunt you? The things you did? You gave the orders. You made those things happen. And were you always a traitor or did someone turn you? What do you think? I think you were young. Single mother, eager to learn. Of course, that could have been you gathering evidence. And your child, he must be all grown, certainly out of college by now, in med school, perhaps? I am a man of few mistakes, and trusting you, that was my biggest. It's worked out all right for me. Look at where I am and look at where you are. Oh, I'm looking. More importantly, I see. I wondered what happened to you. I knew you'd be back in the trade sooner or later. Was I right? You were. And your new employers, did you bring them down? Sometimes. And is that how you became a police commissioner? Something like that. Yes, imagine my surprise when I learned that my protege was now police commissioner of Port Charles. Great. Now we can get down to business. My identity was classified, but somebody leaked it to you. If you came here to embarrass me, commissioner, mission accomplished. For me to have admitted one traitor through my doors is a mistake, but for, to paraphrase Oscar Wilde, that sounds like carelessness. I certainly hope your associates are okay. Two of them are dead. Oh, natural causes? And here I thought we weren't gonna do this whole little dance. But it's been so long since I've seen you. I want to savor every moment. So yes, Commissioner, we're going to- Two men are dead. Their bodies were found with your drugs pumped into their systems. Those drugs weren't mine. I was holding them for a friend. I should have figured you would think this was funny. That is the kind of monster that you are. Mark Simon and Bob Massacott, you killed them both. Believe it or not, I have an alibi. You ordered the hits. Because DEA agents don't have drug problems? You call it an occupational hazard. I call it karma. Speaking of which, those others are, were expendable. But if karma comes for you, it would look like you watching as everything you know and love burns to ash. Starting with this city, your adopted home, the one you've sworn to serve and protect. The cartel moving in on Sonny's territory, that's you, your men. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm rotting away behind these walls. You started a mob war just to get back at me? The fact that there was a mob to start a war with suggests that perhaps you aren't as good at your new job as you were at your old one. Thank you for the tip. I'll make sure that you don't get away with this. And with that pledge, the good citizens of Port Charles can sleep soundly. Well, visiting hours are over, which means our time here is up. Oh. Have a lovely evening. <laughs>